In this video, we'll show you a couple of different ways to check which HTTP methods a particular web server supports. Uh, the first way we'll show you is using Fiddler. So we'll set up an automatic breakpoint um, before the request is sent to the server. And from our browser, we'll manually go to foundstone.com. So here we can see that our request was trapped and that our browser made a, a GET request here. If we jump over to the raw inspector, um, this will allow us to actually change whatever request was made or whatever uh, method was, was used to make the request. So here we can change it to just trace as an example and then tell Fiddler to run to completion. So we'll get a response back from the server. And if we jump down to the raw response, we can see that we get a 501 not implemented, meaning that the server doesn't support it. We can also use a different function of Fiddler to essentially accomplish the same task. Um, the benefit of using the Composer tab is that you don't actually have to trap the request by the browser. So here we can literally just choose from this dropdown what different methods that we want to check, and we can manually iterate through each one of them and see which ones are, are supported. So here we pick the trace, uh, trace method again, and we'll just define our website that we'll test here. So again, we'll use foundstone.com. We can check which version of HTTP we want to support, and we can also define some request headers. So here I'll use the exact ones that uh, Firefox would use, and I just kind of pasted them in. And then just simply press the execute button, and it'll send the request to the server. So we'll highlight it here, and then jump over to the actual inspector to look at it. So everything looks good. We got our response back from the server. And we see here again, it's 501 not implemented. The final method we'll show you is kind of the traditional method of doing this uh, straight from the Linux command prompt. You can use netcat, or in this uh, case, we'll use the OpenSSL utility and create a direct connection to the port which the web server is listening on. Um, and then, so again, we'll here, we'll target foundstone.com, uh, this time over port 443. And this is going to establish a direct connection to the server and will send the actual HTTP request directly to the server here. So you can see, again, we're sending just a trace request and we filled in all of our host headers. Uh, and then we'll press enter a couple of times to actually send it. And so we'll get the raw response back from the server. And if we scroll up in its response headers, we can see again, it's not implemented. All right, that's everything. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later.